Tom Davis, Rick Dempsey, and joined now by Mike Bordick. And, uh, Mike, when you look back at the Cortez, I mean, the Orioles were hoping for big things, but obviously the Grand Slam certainly hurt. Cool. I'll say, uh, you know, the bullpen pitching the extra innings, it's, it's kind of wearing on the bullpen a little bit. The cold weather certainly doesn't help. And I'm talking both sides of the baseball pitching, defense, offense as well. We're seeing a lot of low numbers throughout the league. Yeah, but Cortez, uh, unfortunately, just could not get it done early in the season. So he's out. Uh, rule five guy, though. So this will open up, you know, more leeway in the bullpen, more optionable pieces now, more flexibility for Buck Showalter. And if the trend continues, or maybe the starters don't get deeper, maybe more extra inning games. You definitely need some fresh arms out in that bullpen. So now they can get a couple fresh ones in when they need to. Now Andrew Kasher starts tonight for the Orioles, his third start in an Orioles uniform. Rick, what have you seen from Kashner so far? Well, um, Kashner's a good sinker ball pitcher. I think in his first outing, we really didn't see that out of him. He was up in the strike zone. It didn't have his good release point. In his second outing, I thought he was a lot better. His, his sinker was down in the strike zone. I think he can get a lot better tonight, too. A good breaking ball, a good cutter, and a good and a good changeup. So I think he's got a nice repertoire of pitches, Tom. But the key for him is really going to be able to command that fastball and get it down in the strike zone. When he needs double plays, he's going to look to that two-seam fastball ball down and away from the left-handers most of the time and away to right-handers. So um, I, th I still think uh, he gave us a great effort in his second game against the Yankees, and I think tonight he's going to be a little bit better each time out. Now, Mike, he projects a lot of positive, I would think, right now, Kashner. Oh, absolutely. You know, that was a, such a huge start, I think, at Yankee Stadium. Uh, really kind of set the tempo for that whole series, and it was nice to see him have command of his pitches, you know, getting deeper into the ball game, uh, limited a strong offense, and you're right, Rick, if he can command that same or keep it down in the zone he's going to have success listen this guy has one of the best mentalities you're going to see he is a he is a gamer you know and he's trying to help the young guys as well uh, here's the guy that's going to be the stopper i think for this team throughout the summer and uh, you love to see him take the bump after such a big game up at yankee stadium now mike earlier today you had uh, tim beckham taking some uh, grounders or at least some uh, plays here now obviously you played shortstop uh, that's kind of extensive this uh, late beyond spring training wouldn't you think for beckham well i'll, I'll tell you what i mean it's a constant work in progress and i'm not saying just for tim beckham the whole oriole defense and the weather's been so bad that it's about time they get some sunshine they can do some work here working on a little drop step third base is all about angles but look at the head position getting his eyes behind the baseball that is really the key at third base Bobby Dickerson one of the best infield instructors as far as paying attention to the detail of the game the detail of a play is fundamentally sound as you're gonna see there Beckham working on some slow rollers just different looks one glove to hand transfer and a couple bare hand plays and the Orioles now working on some double plays you, you know early on in the season boy just the timing off from this new group of infielders which is a little bit surprising after all the work in spring training but they've really needed to uh, understand that internal clock turn more double plays you're gonna get ground ballers like Kashner out there on the hill uh, Dylan Bundy makes big pitches they need those outs to be made behind them when outs are there they got to get them and got one of the best second basemen in the business man get that ball to him and let him do his work now Rick Beckham uh, seemed like he caught a couple of hot shots last night down there at third base <laughs> well he did and I think it's gonna be a growing process for him all season long again not a position that he really has played a whole lot of he's been there before but not a lot of experience there so it's going to be hard for him to adjust to a lot of different hitters and situations but you saw Bobby Dickerson out there working with him you know on the slow rollers I've never seen that before where the third baseman works on him coming in and doing it the way he did it following all the way to home plate almost so little things like that he's going to pick up he'll gain confidence as the season goes along we've had a lot of great third basemen in this organization starting from Brooks Robinson on and I think this guy's just going to fall right in place with everybody after a while it's a matter of confidence. That proves that the players just don't sit at their clubhouse during the uh, before no, the work. There's workouts. always work to do, man. <laughs> if you don't work at this game, it'll get you for sure. <laughs> well, Mike, we're looking forward to uh, listening to you during the game tonight. Mike will be with uh, Gary Thorne, and we thank him for stopping out visiting with us for a few moments.